Central Time. We board the 6.05 together after a three-day layover. My mother has to know if it's the Atchison, Topeka and the Santa Fe, and she's that girl again, under the projector's light beam, scarlet lipstick and monochrome grandeur, sweeping stairs, a charred ruin, then someone walking you home. Tonight, central time, anxiety or overt terror, no idea where she's headed. I settle her in the dining car, offer the brief amnesias of hot coffee. She whispers the car steward smokes like a young Clark Gable. Iron squeals and hisses the night long. Steam whistles at long gone crossings. Whole counties of cactus and storefront towns vanish. In the hotel cab, I expand on parting and sorrow. She's thinner than I'll ever remember. A non-committal clerk who's seen too many shifts scrutinises her bags, rings a desk bell. She clutches a life in Kodachromes, in the fat handbag with the butterfly clasp, gives me her wedding ring for safekeeping as she faces the narrow stairs with her wooden-fobbed room key. <laughs>